If you're upgrading from an earlier version of Outlook, the most noticeable change in 2010 is the ribbon, which replaces toolbars and menus with tabs and groups of common commands or buttons. The Home ribbon, which contains the most common commands, displays initially. When working with mail, there are easy-to-find buttons to manage existing mailbox items or create a new email. In a new message, this ribbon groups all the commands needed to put together a new email. You'll find options to add formatting, find names in the address book, and include attachments or other items. Similar to Word, the Insert tab makes it easy to add tables, pictures, screenshots, and more. And the Options tab is where to look when you'd like to request notification that your sent message has been received or read. Switching to the calendar updates the Home ribbon to display buttons to create new appointments and meeting requests, change the view, or manage or share calendars. Getting everyone together at the same time for a meeting has never been easier. After adding recipients, subject, and location, I'll specify the starting time and the time zone. This ensures the meeting displays in the correct local time on everyone's calendar. You might have noticed at the beginning of the ribbon is the File tab, which you'll sometimes hear referred to as the Backstage View. This screen initially displays a summary of account information and options to set up out-of-office replies, clean up the mailbox, or manage rules and alerts. You use automatic replies to notify others when you're away from the office and not available to respond to email. In Outlook 2010, you can set up different replies for those inside your organization or outside. Managing your mailbox size is really important. The cleanup tools here display not only the overall mailbox size, but individual folders as well. Use the options here to find older or larger items and delete those you no longer need. And you can set up rules and alerts to organize incoming email messages and receive updates when items are added, changed, or removed. If you're one who backs up Outlook items to a personal folder or a PST file as they're commonly known, visit the Open section. Among the other options here is one to open a folder shared by another user. When it comes to printing, Outlook 2010 conveniently puts all the options you need in one place, starting with a preview of the item to be printed. From here, you can select and adjust printer properties, control printer settings, and manage the page setup. And of course, just click the big button to print. At the bottom of the file menu is Help, Options, and an Exit button. Now keep in mind, clicking the Exit button will close Outlook. To exit just the Backstage view and return to the previous tab, click the Escape key, the File tab, or this thumbnail image.